Yes, sir, baby. This is the signing that so many Ravens fans have been waiting on all offseason long. Well, not all offseason. I mean, we're not even in the new league year yet, technically. But the Ravens, they made their first signing. Well, re-signing of this offseason. And that is signing Lamar Jackson's cousin, Trayvon Mullen. So they get some depth at the cornerback position. I'm not sure, like, I, I, I don't, maybe they did this because they intended on signing him before the new league year started so he wouldn't be a free agent because I'm a little confused because I remember uh, right at toward the end of the season, maybe after the playoff game, uh, they claimed Trayvon Mullen on the waiver wire. So they, they, they claimed him. So they had his rights or whatever, even though I, just, I hate that term. But anyway, they had his rights. Um, but then they now they're re-signing him. So I, I, I don't know. So I, I, I just I was confused on how all of that worked. But maybe they just wanted a little advantage so they could re-sign him uh, for this upcoming season before he became a free agent and possibly sign somewhere. I, I don't know. But anyway, they got him. They got him. Now, <laughs> we'll see how things works out with his family member. Uh, maybe they just wanted a little inside track to Lamar. Y'all better not be using Trey. Y'all not be, y'all better not be using him. Like, I'm going to tell you that right now. Don't be using him and try to get to Lamar. Be try to like, hey, no, nah, don't do that, man. But anyway, uh, Ravens, seriously, on, on the, with the cornerback situation. Uh, they got some questions. Like, Ravens got a lot of questions in a lot of different positions, but certainly cornerback is one of them. Um, I was just on with uh, Trust the Bank with TTB Ravens Media with McConnell and Josh, and you'll, you'll see that video probably over the next couple of days. Um, but we were talking about the cornerback position. And Ravens, they have some holes there. Uh, they signed Kyle Fuller last year. He obviously got hurt in the first game of the season. Um, but Marcus Peters, he's also a free agent. So there's an opening for the Ravens, one of the Ravens' two starting cornerback positions. Obviously, Marlon Humphrey will be one of them. But there's an opening for the other one. So And it could go a lot of different ways. They could be like, all right, Brandon Stevens, we're not going to re-sign Marcus Peters, so you up. Or they could be like, Marcus Peters, we're going to bring you back, uh, so you're up. Or they could be like, Marcus Peters, we're going to bring you back, or, but somebody else will be up. Or we're going to draft somebody. So they got options, um, but they do have that hole there. Uh, but bringing Trayvon Mullen in, um, that does give you some depth. And <laughs> like if you've been a Ravens fan for even just two weeks alone, you know that the Ravens, they need depth at the cornerback position because somehow, some way, every year, they just get tested like crazy at cornerback. I don't know what it is. I don't know what goes on, but cornerback is always an issue. Injuries are an issue for their cornerbacks. I don't know what's been going on. I don't know, but it it every year it, without fail, they like last year they were so prepared. They were so prepared. They had Marlon Humphrey. They had Marcus Peters. They had Brandon Stevens. They had Kyle Fuller. So yeah, four people right there with NFL experience. Then on top of that, they brought in, uh, they drafted Pepe Williams and they drafted Jalen Armand Davis. So then you had two rookies. So you extra prepared at the cornerback position. But things just started falling apart. Guys got hurt. And it just, well, y'all know how it went. We ain't got to relive it. Uh, so, yeah, for, so for them re-signing Trayvon Mullen, keeping him around, uh, it's a good move. And, and you, you know it's not going to be for any crazy amount of money. It's not going to be for any crazy amount of cap space, which apparently the Ravens don't have much of right now. They will get some alleviated tomorrow. Once the Chuck Clark trade becomes official, um, they'll get a little bit more. But Ravens' pockets are a little tight right now. They telling people, look, I ain't got it. So don't ask for it. Um, but shout out to Trayvon Mullen for getting the job early, getting a little leg up on some of the possible competition at the cornerback position.